Hello everyone, welcome back to another YouTube video. Uh, it is Reese, and I know it has been a while since I have not uploaded uh, in quite a considerable amount of time, but I am back, and uh, today I am with my good friend John. Hi, how are you doing? Hello. Hello. And uh, yeah, the reason we are producing this video uh, is because we actually want to talk about um, a new game project that we are both working on. So, um, yeah, one one day, um, John actually put a message on Twitter, um, like a tweet, didn't you? And you're like, is anybody up for developing a game project? Conveniently, at the same time, I also wanted to work on another game project. And I sent John a direct message, and uh, we, we got confloving, didn't we? And, uh, yeah, I had the small idea for a game. Um, it's like a 2D top-down shooter. And essentially, um, we've decided to like do considerable amount of research, um, and yeah, we're gonna be developing this into a fully fledged game for people, like people to play. So um, yeah, this game is called um, Exodus as well. Um, however, it, it's spelled like well, spelled rather strange, isn't it? Um, yeah. You know, for the life of me, I can't remember the meaning of Exodus. Um, <laughs> it's a plural of Exodus. Um, so it, it basically means a multiple Exodus happening at once. Yeah, essentially. Obviously, because me and John both have like a massive amount of experience with Game Maker, um, we decided to like work on this game strictly in Game Maker. Um, and many people have given Game Maker as an engine a lot of stick in the past, haven't they? Because like many people use um, more well-known and profound engines, but like me and John, like we think differently because essentially what we think is that it's a matter of what you do with the game engine. It's not necessarily the power of the engine itself. So would you not agree, John? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would. I think Game Maker really uh, excels at making a 2D game pretty quickly. Yeah. And so that's why I wanted to use Game Maker, it, especially since I have years of experience with it. It's something that I can. I was gonna say, like, um, I've been learning Game Maker. I've been using it for over two years now. So um, hmm. essentially, yeah, it it seems like the prime candidate to like did well develop a game. So. Um, yeah, I think it's been about seven years for me. Yeah. Um, one other thing I'd like to mention as well, we're actually using Game Maker 1.4 to develop the game. Um, there are a few reasons for that, but we'd rather um, not talk about those reasons. Um, however, the bottom line is that it gives us more uh, freedom with regards to compatibility. So, um, yeah. The next thing we want to talk about um, is what actually is going to make Exodus uh, different as opposed to um, many other 2D top-down shooters. So um, essentially, like with most 2D games, they tend to be quite uh, basic. So you'll just have regular sprites, um, and yeah, it's it's really hard to um, give a 2D game life. That that's the the main issue with it. Um, many people think of two D games as like um, really like scaled down graphics and stuff like that, but we're actually like we want to up, up the game with this in a way. Um, so one of the reasons I actually contacted John uh, is because he is um, a god at shaders. <laughs> um, Thank you. So yeah, literally. Um, John has got um, a shader toy site, and he actually just codes shaders in like GLSL and uh, HLSL and stuff like that. Um, and Game Maker natively has no lighting support whatsoever. Um, but what John is going to do with Exodus in our game is he is actually going to write a normal mapping shader, which is going to mean that we're going to have realistic and real time uh, lighting. Um, and hopefully we're shadow casted, aren't we? So yeah, I really can't wait to get to that. I plan on um, adding various effects and stuff using 
my shader programming down. I should be able to add, uh, like you said, normal mapping, which will allow lighting on different surfaces to make it look 3D. Yeah, you'll have like reflectivity, that sort of thing, certain properties to the materials, as well as yeah, I'd like to have shadows, maybe fog, that sort of thing, just to make it feel more realistic. Can't wait to get to the graphical programming of it. I think it'll be a lot of fun. The other thing as well, um, yeah, obviously it's like a two D top down shooter. Um, the theme for the game is basically aliens. So um, aliens have invaded in the game and yeah earth has been like had an uprising because of it and yeah everything has run down and stuff but um one thing we do want to leave as a bit of a secret is that um the aliens haven't invaded for the reason that you'd expect them to invade um that stuff is really rather dear to us in the narrative of the game isn't it so <laughs> um we want yeah, I, yeah we I want to want... leave that yeah, so um, what what really is the game? Like, how is it going to play out? So you are a player, and uh, you are in an open world, uh, so you can explore. Um, it has like a wave-like mechanic system, doesn't it? So like aliens spawn in, and you get rounds of aliens. Um, and a lot of games, generally what they'll do, they'll just have like uh, aliens that spawn in, and yeah, it just gets progressively more and more um, in quantity of them. Um, but what we want to do is uh, really like go into the depths of like actually giving the aliens um, like human qualities in a way. So like really interesting behavior. And yeah, we really want to make them difficult to kill in the long run. So yeah, yeah, I think uh, we'll try to aim for is quality over quantity. We're going to try to make harder enemies and, and really they put a lot of time into the details of their how they handle the situations. You broke up a bit there, John. <laughs> anyway, I'll carry on this conversation. So yeah, what, what John was saying, um, essentially we want to make it so that uh, the aliens have got their own personalities. So like, they're really like, I wouldn't say predictable, um, but essentially what we're going for is that like, you can sort of like expect how they'll behave, but they're not always intended to behave in that manner. So, yeah, John, you broke up a bit there. <laughs> Sorry, what was that? You broke up a bit mid conversation, but uh, I finished wow. it off. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. But yeah, my connection isn't so great being on the opposite sides of the world. Yeah, I'm going to say that's another thing. Uh, me and John. Um, Obviously, I reside in the UK. Uh, John is all the way over in America. So, um, yeah. The next thing I want to talk about, actually, it sort of ties in with this, is actual like, time scaling for the game and stuff. So, essentially, uh, when we both started working on this game, doing research and stuff, uh, we initially said about two years development time, didn't we? Um, mm -hmm. Now, the reason we want to speak to that is because, um, obviously we are both in education at this present time um mm. so yeah i've got a lot of uni work to deal with and john has also got school um so essentially we've got to sort of juggle the project haven't we in a way <laughs> yeah yeah um but providing that we do like work quite consistently and why like, we keep planning like we have been doing like we we tend to liaise with each other like at least twice a week at the moment, don't we? Um, yeah, I reckon we can make really considerable results over this. Yeah, we're already about six months into it. I yeah. Think we've gotten some of the engine details down. Um, if we can, I'd like to get most of, if not everything about the, the core of the game finished the first year and then kind of um, add in extra details and polish things up for the second year. I was going to say, um, the good thing I want to mention about that is actually, like, because we've not started making these videos um, until now, uh, we have actually got most of the framework for the actual game um, put in place, haven't we? Like, mm -hmm. um, the good thing about that is that, like, each week you're going to start seeing, like, um, yeah, new gameplay elements that are being added into the game. 
Um, and it's going to be like really exciting to watch the game like grow over like a period of time. So um, yeah, I'm I'm honestly really looking forward to it to be honest. Um, yeah, the next thing I want to talk about is actually distributing the game as well. Um, in the long run, uh, we plan to put the game on like um, pro most likely a small indie game website. Um, we we did discuss Steam. Um, however, we don't want to use Steam because, um, yeah, it actually costs money now because of Steam Direct to get games on there. Um, and you also need to be a limited company, I believe, to get a game on Steam. Um, so, and we are not a limited company right now. Um, so, yeah, we're, we're thinking about distributing the game on like a, yeah, an independent games website. Um, so something that's not as like high level, uh, but it is actually in the long run. I'd say it's going to make it easier to access the game, personally. Um, yeah. Yeah. So now that issue is covered, um, I want to talk about actually what we're doing in these videos. So essentially, um, it's mainly going to be me um, in these uh, development videos, but I want to make this a frequent series where essentially. Uh, we upload uh, every two to three weeks uh, discussing the game um, hopefully more if we can manage it but um, we can't make any promises because of like education and stuff um, but yeah each week or each every two three weeks you will see new content added to the game and it's gonna um, allow people to be involved with the development of the game so uh, if you pop down comments in the description of this video um, I'll take note of them and we could potentially add those features if we do deem them viable in a way yeah yeah we love your input yeah um, the other thing is that if you really want to uh, actually test the game in its current state uh, you can actually download a copy of the game right now from our GitHub repository. So um, this is github.com forward slash exodus forward slash game. Um, yeah, so in this actually by GitHub repository, you can see all of the, the changes that we've recently made. And we've actually done about 100 updates, 130 up to now. So um, yeah, we're making like consistent progress with the game. Um, so you can just directly download the, the game project. However, at the moment in time, we don't have a release build. Um, so what you will have to do is download Game Maker Studio uh, in order to convert the project, if you're using Game Maker 2, that is, um, to actually, yeah, build the game. Um, the other thing is that um, as John adds shaders and stuff like that, um, shaders obviously are advanced bits of code and they can only be enabled in Game Maker if you've got the professional version, I believe. Mm -hmm. So yeah. um, that's just a small thing to note there. Um, but when the game does become um, yeah much more feature rich, we're going to actually do a release build of it. So then you'll have like an executable file that you'll be able to download and just simply play the game. Um, so we're going to add releases like really quite rarely like when we're confident that the game is stable and there's no bugs with it or anything. Um, the last thing I want to talk about in this video is obviously by downloading this code uh, we've actually licensed the code for the project under um, an MIT license. So an MIT license, what it basically does, um, it grants anybody free of charge uh, to obtain a copy of the software, um, providing that um, essentially you give us credit. So um, you can do whatever you want with the code. You could even like sell it and make your own game if you really want to. Um, and yeah, the only the only issue is you like you just have to give us credit. Um, and the other thing is that you can't hold us liable. So in case of any damages, either indirectly or directly, uh, through downloading the game's source code. So um, yeah, that's just something I wanted to point out. Um, so yeah, anyway, in summary, um, I hope that 
everybody looks forward to the development of this game. Uh, we certainly are. We can't wait to see what it, what actually comes of it in the future. Um, I do want to make this like a really consistent series. Um, so because obviously it's going to like actually show how the game has flourished over time, um, and I really want to capture that. So um, and the other thing is that it sort of gives the game back uh, a community so we want to build a, a really rich community for this game so and if you want to get involved in that why like, you are like we welcome you to so um yeah i think that just about covers it so uh mm -hmm. i hope you've enjoyed this video everyone um don't forget to subscribe uh to my channel and i will link john's channel in the description of this video and uh, yeah, stay tuned for more game content. So uh, yeah.